turns everyone into an egg hitter in a way. Um, and they've gone with the Queen of Pain for the middle lane. Good hero gets versus the Ten Doom. It's kind of interesting that they didn't pick Marana again this game because the Phoenix yeah. was picked out by Radio Rift in this draft. I think it would have been really good too for for like you said the egg hitter. Yeah, egg hitter. Um, and you kind of got so, uh, a kind of semi setup with the clockwork cogs coming down. You know, a lot of heroes can't escape that. Unfortunately, um, yeah. Phoenix definitely can. I don't know. I think Signal Ultra are starting to draft themselves into a corner in this game. I would agree. This Queen of Pain is going to get hard countered by the Doom, right? The Doom, all you have to think about is just Dooming the Clop yeah. at the moment. So Signal Ultra need to pick multiple Doom targets that are useful. Right now, the Clock Grim, they're never getting Doomed. <laughs> I don't, it's just not going to happen. They're not important enough to get Dire Doomed. Team like some supports that are important enough to get Doomed would be like an Earthshaker. Right, mm -hmm. like that's a pretty good hero to just jump in and doom up because you know he has Phoenix. high impact. Yeah, Phoenix, sure, exactly. So Void Spirit, that's another doom target. That's good at least they got another hero that um, uh, reality just need to think about remaining. considering to pot the doom on. I think Rubik is a very clutch hero here. He's gonna get Five really good spells remaining. like Stroke of Fate from the Grim Stroke. Ink Swell would be amazing with the doom. Queen of Pain has great skills. Scream or Blink, both are awesome to get uh now riata rift they are gonna have to pick up an offlaner here or carry what is available terra blade isn't terrible <laughs> um what else we got phantom assassin morphling i'm just looking at some of the heroes that ajit has played already here faces void is already banned out specter Ooh, specter sounds quite nice Ooh. actually yeah, yeah, nice little bit of a uh, bit of supernova horn action could come down if they wanted to uh, take things in that direction. I can definitely see it working. I would like to see a little bit more physical damage though coming out from Reality Rift. They're gonna go with a morph instead. Okay, so they're gonna slow the game down a little bit more. I think Spectre is a little bit faster than Morphling, but Morphling's mid game is like extremely fast once he gets to that uh, shotgun. And because there's a Void Spirit, that's a natural Vessel Buyer. He's going to have to go Manta first item on this Morphling. There's no doubt about that. Mm -hmm. And Don't Signal Ultra, they're probably thinking PL. PL is already banned out by Reality Rift. Instant ban. And Anti-Mage is already banned out. So the Mana Burn heroes are gone. They get one more free ban on a carry here. This was really nice by Reality Rift. They're taking the carry first over the offlaner. Made it so that the other Rift won't be banning their own possible carries. Right? Yeah. So they picked the carry yeah. here. Yeah. And now they can freely ban whatever carries they want. And they know they don't need to, like, think, oh, signal my ban here, carry. And, you know, things start to get Maybe awkward. Ban the Ricky. Ooh, I like that ban, actually. Because the cloud is really annoying for the morph thing. And they could play, like, this, uh, like, pick off playstyle on Signal Ultra and try to snowball like that. That pickoff playstyle is how you actually beat like heavy team fight or like split push slash pickoff playstyle. Yeah, yeah, it could definitely uh, make the make that draft war more uh, kind of focused in. I think it's up to Sigma Ultra, you know, with this last pick, they can kind of decide: do we want to double down on this kind of pickoff oriented lineup, or do we want to have a hero which can really um, lay the smack down and uh, kind of cover all bases? It's up to them. I think. So. Spectre could be an interesting pickup for Signal Ultra as well. I, I, I do believe going for oh, that's a strong laning hero. I think they preemptively picked this LC to like counter any weak carries that can sing that Signal Ultra can possibly pick here. Two walkers builders as well. Void Spirit can build the uh, Ags as well. So there's plenty for the Legion Commander to purge remaining. off this game. And uh, that hard lockdown for the Queen of Pain of the Void Spirit, you know, two high mobility heroes. If you just get them in the duel, they can't do anything about it. So really good pickup from the reality. Of, like, I feel like Signal Archer, that there's no hero in the game which can kind of pull this draft back for them, to be perfectly honest. But may maybe, maybe, but you know, I'm, I'm not feeling I good. I Spectre or Ursa, or, okay, Slark. All right, that could be something, because now Ooh. suddenly Slark is the hero who can, you know, play the pickoff game as well. But they, they need to, like, win this lane top. And they need to just be okay with Morphling getting whatever farm he can. Because they got a Snowball to Slark, I think. So maybe Clockwork goes bottom, helps out the Void Spirit a little bit, and then he TPs top and starts fighting with the Slark. So the Slark can start to Snowball. But 
at the end of the day, you're still playing against Doom, and if you're too farmed, then the Doom's just gonna drop the Doom on you. And there's yeah. nothing. Oh, we should also mention there's no counters to this egg right now. They can get away from the egg, but they can't fight into the egg. Yeah, yeah, this is a little bit awkward. I mean, they've got heroes which can get close to it, but killing it off quickly is going to be a really, really big ask for a Signal Ultra. Um, mm -hmm. Slark doesn't want to do that. I mean, he, he, he can try, but it's probably not going to end well for him, especially when you've got the Legion Commander in the Doom to back it up. They've got a lot of things to defend this egg with as well, so it becomes a little bit tricky. Yeah, I'm 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 feeling like it's kind of 70 30 in favor of Reality Rift, but hey, I'm oh, really? I'm 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 ready for Signal Ultra to prove me wrong. <laughs> hey, listen, you you still got a tweet you got to put out there. Are you ready? Yeah, tell me, tell me what what what, what do you want? <laughs> I don't know, man. I got to I got to think of something. I got to think of I know, I know what you were going to make me do, so I have to I have to think of something equivalent to that. <laughs> I love you, by you the way. Don't, 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 don't do me. <laughs> don't do me like this. Don't do me real dirty. Um, but yeah, I mean, this game, I don't think I, I think we're probably both on the same side, right? I don't, I'm not sure um, either of us are preferring this uh, Signal Ultra draft, right? I just think Reality Rift have stronger team fight and it's easier to execute their lineup. And mm -hmm. that's why I prefer their lineup. I just love playing lineups that are easy you to play. Die. And I think Signal Ultra, they got to make a lot of plays and they got to keep on snowballing without making mistakes in this game. If they if they make any mistakes, like Reality Rift, one T5, boom, they're back, they're back in it. All it takes. All it takes? <laughs> I like the way everyone died except Legion, he's just put a staff in the air like, yeah, it's me, baby. Alrighty, let's get into it. Game number two here, Signal Ultra versus Reality Rift here at the Omega League Asia Division. These two teams, both of them could really use a win because they are both bottoming out of the group so far and that very bottom team does not get a chance to play any more Dota. If they win this game, they do manage to secure themselves most likely the playoff position where they can uh, play off versus the other fourth and fifth teams in the, uh, in the other groups. Uh, to play in for the uh, the playoffs. A lot, a lot of plays being said here. I'm going to stop using that word because it sounds strange to me now, but Arjit going to make his way up to the top lane. Doesn't really want to show himself. He's a morphling after all. Does literally nothing at level one. Just wants to go hit hide in the trees and uh, wait for the laning phase to be over. And it's going to be the Doom mid, as expected. No shenanigans going on here. Doom mid's just an annoying dude. How's yeah, the matchup going to go into the Void Spirit? How is the what? Matchup of the Doom versus the Void Spirit at mid going to go. Um, I think Doom is going to be completely fine. There's no way he's getting wrecked in this lane. He just drops the Scorch Red, pushes the lane out, goes into a jungle, eats a creep, comes back, has like 6 HP regen, and there's not much that Void's going to be able to do. I think Void... Void versus Doom is just going to be like 50-50. You, I don't, I don't expect either of these guys to just win a lane. The battle begins. Yeah. Anyway, X1, gonna grab himself a uh, little bounty rune off the Slark here. Slark comes in. Didn't even level the instant shift. Not even oh worth going God. for that right click. As uh, Hustler will also grab himself the other bounty rune, making it two for two. Nice and even here. And the mid lane blocks come in. Yeah. Just, just to let the uh, chat know, guys, it's, we're not B Cop and Mofara. We are. Uh... <laughs> I'm One not B Cop. No. Oh, that makes a lot of sense now. They explains the British accent. I was really confused for a while, but no, it does make sense. There were some people who were confused, like, who are these guys? I thought it was so pretty. <laughs> I'll just clarify that for everyone. All good. So, which lane shall we watch? Top. There's a tri lane here at the start, and Morphling is being very, very cautious at the moment because they see the Slark solo bottom. Doesn't want to die first blood. Yeah, yeah, Grims, he's waiting. He's waiting in the wings here, looking to do something sneaky as Nuts and Arjit just kind of doing a little dance behind the creep wave, not coming in for anything. Arisa also wrapping around as well with those cogs. They really, really want this. Like, they're, they're waiting so hard for it. They do manage to get the cogs out onto Arjit. Arjit, and he's absolutely fine, though. Having the strength morph and getting under the tower is going to be okay. The gank has failed, and uh, dejectedly, Grimstoke will return to the bottom lane. As uh, Slark actually has to run himself away from the uh, from the Rubik and the, uh, the Legion Commander. And the uh, small camp is blocked as well right now, and the lane's pushing into the Legion Commander. So this is going to be a really tough situation for the Slark to be in. The Rubik just needs to make sure the big camp will not be pulled out 
I mean, the reason why they made that play is because they really want to punish the Morphing's level 1 and maybe get a first blood going. Try to snowball this Queen of Pain top. It, it is going to snowball the Queen of Pain because she's got like the entire first wave for free. Uh, so that's going to be very nice. But Morphling, obviously, we've seen every time he hits level 3, it just becomes impossible to lane for anyone. Not really impossible, but he he's going to get free. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's going to be a large, large boy to deal with. Um, a question I want to ask you, actually. You know, we've, we've have, uh, hated on Signal Archer's draft a little bit. Uh, there are glimmers of hope. Is there anyone you think can have an outstanding game, um, and, and carry this one for, for Signal Ultra? Oh, it, it has to be the Stark and the Void Spirit. I think the Queen of Pain is, go, is off to a good start, but it has to be the Void and the Stark, because they, those two heroes together need to keep on snowballing and killing with their low cooldown, uh, keep, uh fighting abilities. Mm -hmm. But the Stark right now, it seems like he is going to be having a little bit of a tough time. But if he can get like one or two kills onto this Legion Commander, he will start snowballing. And no one else is going to be able to lane up against him after that. That should uh, hopefully be the game plan for, uh, for Signal Ultra. But whether they can pull it off or not, it's going to be a big difference. I mean, you've definitely got a break wall here at the Doom, that's for sure. This guy's just going to plonk himself on the front lines. Take a lot of help with Jamesy. They're just trading down really low here in mid. This is how the matchup with the Doom goes normally. <laughs> he just clicks Scorcher, starts hitting you, you lose your health, he loses his health, but then the Doom obviously has more sustain. Oh, uh, Raymond exactly. Cadding's out it. here. Jamesy, he's going to keep on chasing him. He's got the Resonant Pulse. He's going to use it to come under the tower, but Rith thinks better off it. This Doom is really, really tanky under the tower, to be fair, with yeah, the extra... Uh, oh. Free armor with a chain mail and with a bracer and with a ring of protection. He's just not taking damage under that tower. Jamesy. He doesn't have enough mana to use both his skills. So it's not gonna go on about that. I guess one of the concerns in this game is that there's a Legion Commander and a Doom that the Slark can't really do much against, right? If, they, if he drops if they drop the spells on him. Like the Legion duel sounds up the Slark. He's getting locked down, he can't get out of it, and then he's just gonna get focused on by like a Morphling E Blade combo or something of that sort. So, like I said, he's gotta play a perfect game. No pressure then, no pressure. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> I hate saying that, like, they, someone's gotta play a perfect game, but when I look at the drafts, like, that's what it feels like at the moment. Agreed, agreed. And this mid lane is such a brawl. I mean, Eris is kind of poking his head around the side, but not really much he can do against this Doom currently. He doesn't really have the uh, spells to come in and make a difference, but he is going to protect this haste rune at the very least for Jamesy. And it looks like Morphling has caught back up into the top lane. He's level 3, almost level 4 now. Double rate bans. Getting some pulls off too. Legion bottom, a little bit ahead of the Slark. Not too far ahead. I think the Sark has more XP though. Yeah, oh, Sark's about to hit level 5. Like, Grimstroke is just not taking any XP from the Sark at all. Which is the right thing to do, I think. Because you want him to get level 6 fast and be able to have that sustain going on nighttime, especially. Yeah. Brownie runes, Phoenix diving in. Phoenix is dead here. Um... Yeah, he's, he's not looking too happy, is he? No aggress dive for him. Gonna throw down some fire before he drops. Even probably the very fire. I mean, that is, uh, that is bold. But yeah, mm. first one's going to Eris as well. Yep, he's already got Tranquil Boots and 500 gold now. He's feeling great in this game. Uh, Alacrity does have Doom now. Let's see if Phoenix actually decides to TP here mid lane and tries to go on the Void Spear together. Yeah, no I bottle could... on the Doom, so it's um, probably... Not as valuable as it could be, but he does has done exactly this. He's waiting in the rings, seeing if he can make a play. I imagine they're going to wait for the Resonant Pulse to drop, and then maybe look for something. Lacrity doing the blocks here as well to try and put James out of position, but, you know, Lane's really pushing in here, and even the Rubik coming on over, I mean, they're already committing pretty hard to this kill. Oh, just words. about getting it. Wow. They actually got two words from that. <laughs> Very so nice. valued. One and then they go, Doom comes out onto the Void Spirit here, Hustler coming in as well with the Fade Bot and Void Spirit, there's not much he can do other than die. Keeping in. Yeah, Queen's looking for it, looking for the return kill onto Doom as Eris comes in around the back lines, they might be able to grab this one, they do. And the return kill onto the Doom is made and a pretty even trade all things considered as both the mid laners do drop. Yeah, so they do a lot of damage to the mid tower, so it's down to like a thousand hundred health, but this is going to give free farm to the Morph. So, he's pretty happy about that. He's gonna farm up this big stack of camp as well. 
that's a lot of rotation coming out from Sing Ultra. Defensive rotation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, reactive rather than active. You might never recover. Let's take a look at networks. I think that'll tell us a better story of what's actually going on. Oh, hold on, Doom's got a double drums queued up, by the way. Oh, um, okay. he's gonna, he's gonna do it. Nah, 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 nah. There's no way. There's no way he's have, gonna do double jump. Have you not seen this yet? As people have been I building have. it. Yeah, yeah, because it gives you more movement speed, right? Yeah. But please don't do it. No. <laughs> Just buy one drums, buy a, buy a wind lace, and there you're done. You got your freaking 40 movement speed that you're looking for. And then buy a good item. Like, you already have one drums. So you don't need another set. Gotta go fast, Steven. Gotta go fast. <laughs> He won't do it. There's no way. Alacrity, he's not gonna do it. He's doing it. He's doing it. Bainzy suffering to this doom. The Scorch Death does so much damage, man. It's, it's such a crazy spell. Yeah, it does. It's it's such a good, like, downtime on it, too. So you can just constantly spam it to farm. Push lanes out. A weak attempt on Aeris' life up in the top lane here, just kind of zoning the clockwork out more than anything. I guess the guy's pretty tanky, but let's have a little bit of a carry catch up session as uh, we see the Slug currently chilling with his power tread, some Wraith Band, and uh, looking, uh, it's doing okay. 43 CS, not the worst thing in the world. Arjit doing a little bit better, he's got himself the double Wraith, no brown boots just yet. Well, actually, he could be in some trouble here at mid though. Aeris is coming in again here, he's got a double damage as well, so doing a decent amount, but in comes KYXY with a nice two man overwhelming odds. He's gonna try and bring down the clockwork, and with the Rubik coming in with a pay bob, they will get that kill. So, a bigger re reaction from our Reality Rift ends up in them getting that kill, and even the Phoenix swooping in from behind on this as well, just to try and uh, really make something happen. Wow. in the tree. James is feeling a lot of pressure right now. There's a Doom up again too, so he can't stand here. Yep. He's not gonna throw it down right now, it seems like. Nah, he's got too many spells to bit. throw on the, uh, the Void Spirit. Yeah, Queen of Pain coming in with the Sonic Wave. They actually want to turn onto the Doom. Yeah, just about catching out Alacrity here. Do they have the damage for this jump? He gets a Doom mode just before he goes down, but they will bring him down. That's a bad jump in and getting that kill as well as they continue to chase him. Meanwhile, Queen of Pain under the tower. Nasty dives in for the Corp here. Might have given his life, but not quite enough. Meanwhile, the front lines to fight. A bat still looking for something else, but he's not gonna find it. He's gonna have to back himself away. Meanwhile. Be nice and careful with his courier, but it looks like the Phoenix has TP'd himself back to base. So no kill to be had in the back lines, and it looks like it's just going to be a trade. The Void Spirit and the Queen of Pain for the Doom. And the free farm for the Morphling. <laughs> in the meantime, too. Because the Sark actually rotated yeah. for that play, so. Pretty big win there for Reality Rift. Uh, Phoenix also got a bunch of XP, solo XP, actually, for getting that Queen of Pain kill. So he's on his way to level 6 already. The Rubik is already level 6 now. There's a lot of XP going the way of uh, Reality Rift at the moment. And the difference in the Void Spirit's net worth and the Doom's net worth is becoming quite significant. He's got drums completed too now on Doom. Or almost drums. He's first missing drum. the stage. First drums. Okay, let's see if he actually gets... <laughs> Listen, okay, no man. If he buys two drums, I'll literally cancel out the tweet that you have to make, okay? I'll take that deal. All right. I'll take that deal. Let me but what if he doesn't buy the second drums? <laughs> um, if he doesn't buy the second drums, I, oh, Jesus, I, I don't know. I can uh, can retweet something of yours. I guess? I don't know. I don't know how to add to this. But Aries is the one in trouble right now. Being chased down. They've got the duel. Oh my goodness! This is a dead clock. This is some more damage going the way of the Legion Commander. Oh At this rate, Norman, I'm gonna own your soul, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna slowly bleed away. Like, my house! I'll give you my house, Stephen, please! Oh, uh, Phoenix sitting at top, defending this tower. KYXI also TPing up here. This could be a good opportunity for Signal to actually take an engagement because the Legion Commander did TP and it's stuck. It's actually gonna start diving under this tower. Who's gonna help him out? The Doom? Oh, look where the Super egg Supernova is at. in the back lines, yeah. It's Doom's a sneaky little in. egg here that's gonna come crashing on down as well. The back could be in some trouble. He has got his ultimate though, so should be okay for the time being. Doom not available. Still 15 seconds on cooldown, but they're taking so much damage here. Van commits hard to the kill onto the Legion Commander, trying to make it work. Meanwhile, Eretz, he's playing with a shot here trying to get nuts caught out but james is coming in from behind here this could be really bad from reality in fact it's already looking real bad for reality they'll jump the hold onto the doom the damage is there they'll take him down that's gonna drop as well and they're not gonna lose only one hero on the side of signal ultra for three very nicely done indeed from the side of signal classic classic safe lane defense into a big rotation for signal because they see that there's a tp being used by one of the heroes and they just dive 
Does there come back into a game? But mid tower and bottom tower have fallen for um, Signal here. And this is going to give a lot of free farm towards the Morphling. I think Reality Rift have learned their lesson. I don't think they're ever going back to that top lane again. Nah. Stay uh -huh. away from the top lane. All right. So he's not going for a second drums. I believe you owe me 10% of your soul now. Mm, in Jesus. To oh no, he's not doing it. What a coward. Ilacrity, you let me down for the last time. Believed in Ilacrity. I did. I did. Oh man. Doesn't feel good. All right. Uh, Bad is all farming in an extremely aggressive place right now. I mean, they're just trying to take over this enemy jungle. He is kind of alone, but has an ultimate, has some drums. Just going to pop those bongos and get himself out nice and safely. No big deal. It's actually going for the drum slash and Yasha build on Slark. So going for a bit of a race car style build rather than going for that defusal or something more classic like that. Oh, Silver Edge really yeah. needed this game, I guess. He wants the um, SNY Satanic this game so that the duel and the doom don't last so long on him. That's pretty much his thought process at the moment. He can't really go much else because he would just be doomed forever or duel forever. Need your commander getting jumpy. Uh -oh. There's a big smoke. Up. Hook shots available. Ares just kind of baiting it out, trying to. Oh, miss. Yeah. <laughs> Hook shot and Queen of Pain in the back of the head. It's fine. They get the kill regardless. It was a uh, a creative hook shot to get off the cogs, but you know it, it worked. So who cares? Check out reality rift now. They actually. <laughs> going into the uh, Ancients area to try and take over this triangle. So if Signal try to run up this hill, they will just die. By the way, they, I think they fixed the drawing line stuff. Try it. Nope. <laughs> no? Oh, nope. It, it was working fine for me. Interesting. Oh, I'm uh, jealous. I'm, I've never been able to draw yeah. on this map. So we got two really clutch words here. Um, Clark walks by. He's going to be able to see it, but if anybody else walks in there, it should be quite good for a reality to be able to fight up Radiant structures and kill them. Yeah, we actually have really deep vision down, actually. Three super deep wards from them so far. Dyer's they want to know. Yeah, this is going to allow them to make good smoke plays following following up from those uh, wards. So you plant this vision first, and then you make the smoke to those vision. Yep. So you always know who's there, and you can get that key initiation. Now you got Doom. Doom needs like another 100 gold. It's going to get Blink Dagger. And then now you got that initiator. For your team he's got the uh, war stomp he's also got doom ready they gotta get a kill on this uh, slark i think he's becoming too big already look at his network too he's actually keeping up with the doom he's doing very very well a couple of good engagements and uh, some good farming patterns and yeah keeping up with the doom with the devour well, this feels good to be doing that meanwhile the rest of the signal they're smoked up behind looking for a bit of action yeah, I do want to see them kind of moving a bit now on the side of Signal Archer. Like, they, they have the better fighting capabilities that they can manage as a hook shot comes through. Landing onto two, that is damn tasty. And Eric's holding back on the cogs for as long as possible. But it does mean that the egg is actually able to come down now. And the Warstorm comes in as well. They will kill off the egg. Nuts is dead. So Bat is gone, though. He gets taken down inside that jaw. Now they'll look over towards more targets as the two of them held together. But Lackety is still healthy for the time being. Void Spirit trying to fight into him right now. But this Doom is able to just chill. He's fine. Dainty he running himself away. Doesn't have the jump for another four seconds. He's got a Yule's available, but it looks like there's going to be too much damage coming down onto him. Jump himself away first to dissimulate. Now in the Astral Step. Ooh, James, nice. he being so annoying right now. Jumping down that cliff. And actually, they've left the uh, Cogs for him as well. And the Bounty Rune to fill up that bottle. He's fine. Well, actually, he's not done that. Yeah, he's, he's pissed fine. at this point. He could be in some real trouble. Eric's coming in from behind here, trying to make something happen as this. The Void Spirit continues his wacky old chase, but does jump into the War Stomp off the Doom here. Namesy running low on HP. Has another Yule's available, another Astral Step. This... Oh, the Arcane Rift TP. Wait. Oh, oh, he dies. Oh. That, 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 was, that was pretty fun to watch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's pretty wild. Nuking and jiving around like that, but all of a sudden, he's just... Gonna get burned down by the Phoenix, man. That urn. Fire spirits, too much damage. Good thing the Morphling showed up into that fight. He morphed into the Queen of Pain. So he got that level 4 scream and the blink. So he got some good mobility in there too. I think if Nuts didn't get the egg off there, that would have been such a one-sided fight for Signal also. Because the egg uh, came out, was doing damage, and it took the attention for Signal. They had to hit that egg, right, to kill it. And during that time, Meowdy Rift had enough time to react. So like also getting dueled up in the fight. You can see how yeah. if he gets dueled, he's just gonna die. Yeah, yeah, that's the uh, the hard. If he gets dueled or doomed, he's gonna be in a lot of trouble this game, which is a problem. <laughs> it really is. 
because those spells are, are going to be quite freely thrown out onto them, especially with the Queen of Pain not really doing that much when it turns to, uh, in terms of game uh, team fight impact. And this mech's going to help out and go for the Guardian's Greaves next as well. Mm. Wondering what she wants to purge off. Meanwhile, Arius might be in some trouble. Oh, nice hook shot away in the middle lane, though. Going to leave him survive in this fight. Got him. Uh oh, a bat trying to run away. Doom is not actually up for 15 seconds here, so a bat should be okay. What's up with uh, SCA players and carry SCA carry players, nonetheless, with uh, having A's at the start of their name? Radiance Abat, Ajit, Abed. Well, I think Ajit is like quite normal, right? Uh, I think he's one of the old school players. Maybe Abed is like discount Abed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? Sure, sure. <laughs> discount Abed. <laughs> Abed. D Abed T. I don't think there's a lot. Like Scamberloo, Raven, 23 Savage. Just oh, I just noticed that there's, there's a couple of them. There's a couple of them. It seems to be uh, okay. the way it's pronounced Radiant's as well. It's very focused on the R, but anyway, all was good. Back to the <laughs> game. <laughs> Davis is indeed yeah, going for the Zagan and Septim. I mean, this Axe on Void Spirit is super broke. Like, it's, it's really, really good. <laughs> it's really good. It's so it's, it's, it's a really well designed Aghanims. Makes him want to buy it every game if possible. Doesn't matter what role he's playing in. Oh, KYXY. Look onto Legion. Instant TP is coming in though, towards the top lane there. They really want to try and help out KYXY and keep him alive. And look at the Sunray doing hella work right now. The Skinner Commander, she's still alive through this, but the Bat's taking a lot of stats here. Supernova's going to go off there. No stopping this. The Slug tries to go for the Dark Pack. Does get himself out. The Sonic Wave comes in, cuts on through. Van with the saves, keeps his Slug alive and gets himself two kills in the process. Beautiful stuff coming down from him. And that's going to be a victory for Second Ultra, only losing their clock and trading three heroes for it as well. Well, Alacrity is chilling on a cliff. I mean... Oh, they're going to get him down. Okay. Hey, buddy. How's it going up there? Oh, not great, actually. I'll be real. Yeah, I'm not having a good time at all. Alacrity like, going to try and run himself away, but they've got way too much chase. I mean, what was that? What's he doing up there? How do you... I mean, he just blinked in. He was trying to get away, and then he got oh, stuck okay. on the cliff. But another kill. They're going in for Hustler. They don't care. Dude, is it me or every fight Reality Rift has been in this lane? And they gotta stop going <laughs> there. Every bad fight certainly has, yeah. How about jumping yeah. up to the high ground? Grins just backing him up, just in case. He's got a couple of spells to throw out. And and one more thing to note, it all started with KYXY TPing up into the safe lane. <laughs> and getting jumped and forcing his TP to... Forcing his team to come in there and react. And all of a sudden, the game is starting to equalize once again. I think the sooner this Void Spirit gets Aghanims and the Sark, yeah, he's going for straight Satanic. If he gets the straight Satanic, I think it could be quite troublesome for Reality Rift. They're dying way too much on the uh, Doombringer, especially, I think. He's not keeping up with what his normal net worth is, I think. Yeah, but as you say, when you get a Satanic, it just kind of, you know, nullifies the, the Doom and Jewel threat. Not completely, but definitely substantially. Makes it way easier to play into that. He's he's not afraid to get controlled up. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's going to be a huge deal for him. I do like how Signal Ultra are playing this game. Honestly, would like to see a little bit more aggression from them. Would like to see them kind of try and control the enemy side of the map and uh, try and pressure this morph a little bit more. But at the same time, uh, they're, they're doing all they can. Well, it's not that easy right because you got to fight into the doom the phoenix and stuff so you got to find the right angle to get the pickoffs first before you can actually go in and try to stop them playing. and even if you do jump the morphin like what's your lockdown it's only the silence yeah. from the uh grimstroke there yeah true when they got the eggs maybe it becomes a little bit easier meanwhile jumping in the middle lane trying to control up the doom here hookshot's going to come through as well sonic wave to add on top of it as well but it actually pushes that actually down to the low ground making this a slightly harder kill than it needs to be but he actually doesn't get off the doom there it's interrupted by a battery cell meanwhile there comes the soul bind abat's looking forward here trying to find a target jumping on the uh morphling's gonna be the one actually they're trying to dig down here but he's not quite doing enough damage meanwhile jewel comes out of the sideline he's gonna bring down areas meanwhile doom tp's back into the spot he's got a doom available abat's gonna be in some real trouble he's gonna get ripped through there as a supernova pops him off and now they look for more doom 
comes down. They manage to find the Void Spirit. Void Spirit has no way out of this one. With that Doom on him, he is most certainly dead. And KYXY comes in for the kill steal as they will Ooh, they wipe rush back in. hard. And yeah, straight in. They want this big objective immediately. This is a difference between these two teams. I mean, Sigil Ultra, when they win these fights, they're just kind of like, okay, I guess we'll take some map control. I guess we'll do this. I guess we'll do that. But this draft and this gameplay from Reality Rift just opens up so much more on the map that they can get a team fight and turn it into objective way easier. Yeah, that's a 200 damage to hit the Morphling right now. With Morph all the way up into agility here. And there is a clockwork with the hook shot, so they have to think about that right now on the Reality Rift side. Queen of Pain also with Guardian Greaves, thinking about jumping in. Yeah, Lacty sees him. Hey, buddy, how's it going? You going for the steal here? Yeah, good luck. Get out of here. Pesky little clock. Goodness gracious. Might just straight up murder the guy. Oh, hookshot's still oh, gonna come through, but he misses the hookshot, but they actually go in here as the duel comes down. Whoa. Meanwhile, Grim's coming in from behind, trying to actually get inside this pit here. Might be able to bring it down, no. And he just goes to Arjit. Oh, dearie me. That doesn't go well. Meanwhile, the backline side, they might have actually been able to bring down the Doom here. Need a little bit more work here. It's last being controlled up a tiny little bit. He's got that ultimate, though. Wants to try and chase down the Doom. Pops that ultimate nice and early, but realizing that he needs to back himself away. There's too much regen on this Doom, and now the sub comes out onto this Void Spirit here. Lifting him up, throwing him back. He has got a yield, but when he comes down, it might be with a bit of a bang here. They've got the War Stomp to control him up, and they get themselves that kill. James E goes down. A very, very, very sloppy engagement with Signal Archer. You can see why they didn't want to give up that Roshan, but unfortunately, just by pouring bodies into the pit, they gave up way more than just the Roche. I mean, the Doom did such a good job at uh, finding the clockwork angle of the rocket, and he went to, like, stop the clockwork. The clockwork had to force the hook shot out in a really awkward position. Doesn't even land the hook shot, because they were, like, baiting him, right? They were, like, stop yeah. attacking Roshan, hit, stop, hit, stop, and then Queen of Pain also tried to go in with the steal, gets dueled up, instantly dies. Very desperate attempt, I think, from Signal Ultra to not give away the uh, Aegis to yeah, reality right nice. there. And BKB, soon on the Doom, Legion already has BKB. This Legion's strong! Look at that damage! Whoa! I guess we didn't mention that, like, her net worth doesn't really say it, but her damage, though, is pretty high right now. Plus 70, just from the duels. Oh, yeah. And anytime, like, someone goes in, it's gonna look real bad for them. Yeah, they get when you look at Aaron on the net worth chart, make sure you just bump her up a few places, because uh, that, that semi yeah. damage is increasing her quite a bit. It's here. like a relic, man. It's like yeah. she's, she's got a relic right here. Hmm. What's the plan now for Signal Ultra? They got to keep playing the same gameplay. I think what's working for them is actually playing around top area of the map and try to make Reality Rift make mistakes by TPing up there and defending this tier 2. But on the side of Reality Rift, I think at this point, you just start running at opponent towers instead of heroes. Because Signal have to fight you. Yeah. In order to stop you from winning this game. So you might as well just go to their towers and make them come to those towers and fight on your own terms instead of just running around the map trying to get pickoffs. Yeah, you got to play your draft, man. At the end of the day, like it doesn't really matter what the enemy team are doing. You have to play your heroes to their strengths and to their abilities. And uh, the moment you don't do that, it, uh, you're going to start find yourself losing hold of this game pretty quickly. You're on the bottom tier 2 tower being pushed, but the same thing happening at top here with a bat as he continues putting the pressure. Yeah, there's a free tier 2 bottom. The creep wave is not yet here. Oh, look at this Queen of Pain. She wants to get a sneaky Sonic wave onto the Morphling while he has low HP. Hello. Oh, oh jet too quick. Yep. I think he's Sonic off. off. Mm, possibly, I think he's possibly. Because he blinked in on the Queen of Pain too. Yeah. So it was like... Uh... As soon as he saw the blink, he already starts strength morphing and then it's just not enough anymore. And all of a sudden, his Aegis... Still gonna be alive, and he tanked up the Sonic Wave. That's a big team fight spell. You cannot afford to use Sonic Wave like this without actually getting something out of it. Yeah, it's it's very it's very awkward. I no, do you cast a Sonic Wave and then just wait for it to connect before blinking in afterwards? Like just a little bit more patience from Van, perhaps. You kind of have to, yeah. I mean, I think I, I'm not. I, I I wasn't sure like what he did because I was looking at this smoke as well. But yeah. I assume he tried to do that, and it didn't work out anyway. It's a shame. It's a shame. Too quick, though, Arjit. Not going to get caught out that easily. He's a good morph player. But yeah, the smoke up from round two. I, mean, I like what they're doing. Just dangling their morph at bottom, moving their cells up. But then the Queen of Pain read that, jumps down to bottom, tries to get a sneaky kill onto the morphling. Doesn't work out for him. Meanwhile, the rest of reality, they're trying to wrap around upon signal. Mm -hmm. And also, Queen of Pain it can't did... stop the uh, the morphling TPing, right? Like, morph can just TP up to this fight regardless. Sure. Right. So they're going to be unnumbered. I think... They need to leave.
right now signal is saying or this queen of pain saying guys i'm not dead yet so they're probably running after you right now you guys better get out of top lane yes and they're yeah. probably gonna start running because uh if this queen of pain does this move and she's not instantly dead then they know reality rift they're not here and it's more of a lot and this lot cannot take this tier two tower so they gotta start running they're probably gonna like leap away tp out and then this smoke of reality rift is gonna be completely useless at this point Quite unfortunate pause. And I think Riyadh, they didn't need to make the smoke play like this. It's so awkward. The angle that they took. Like, your bottom, you can just secure the tower. And I think you can just push high ground and make uh, Signal come back and defend. Because Signal have, like, no tower damage whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Signal are very much lacking in that department. At least that's the call I would make here. If I'm on the side of Riyadh, just go, boys. If no one defends, just go high ground. If this Queen of Pain does this move like this, she should be dead right here. Like you just hide. Stay off the map. It's the same effect as actually chasing your opponent out because they don't know where you are. Yeah, I mean, I, I appreciate Van going for this play onto the Morphling here, you know. This is, they're, they're a little bit behind. It's it's definitely when you want to be trying yeah. to do stuff like this. Unfortunately, it didn't work out this time, but yeah, no, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's a nice idea, but... They're just super scary on the side of uh, Reality Rift. The DKB's up on the Doom as well, so they are so ready to take team fights. It's, it's ridiculous. DKB up on, uh, on on Legion, of course, as well, from the last fight. Still going. Nine seconds still on that bad boy. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I want to look at the team's visions as well. Because um, the Radiant um, Signal, obviously, have just been in this area, so they're able to uh, get this ward up here, and then they're able to get this uh, high ground warded up and dewarded. And they actually have a ward directly on where these guys are smoking right now. Obviously, they're in smokes, so they won't be seen. Uh, but they're trying to, like, cover their behinds and uh, try and look at this uh, triangle area. Because you always want to get wards in this triangle area just to protect it. Meanwhile, die. Uh, they've got an observer ward in the enemy jungle. Oh. Obviously, that's the smoking ward. They'll try and uh, see how here on that, and then go and smoke up and kill them. Is the idea, but uh, that seems to be about all they've got down right now. And there's no uh, observers on them either, so probably won't be getting any more vision with this for the time being. No mind. Ruby's got an a uh, observer and a four staff coming out to him on his courier. So that's a pretty big deal. Yo, chat. What do you think I should get Nomad to tweet out? Because I have one tweet I can get him to write anything out. What? This is, this is a bad idea. idea. This is, asking Twitch chat for something like this is, uh, is, a, is a risky move. <laughs> I'm just trying to, you know, as, when we're, because we're mods, we see like the, the messages which don't get let through the filter. I'm uh -huh, expecting a lot uh -huh. of those to be coming up in just a second. <laughs> No, no, listen, there's a lot of fine gentlemen in this chat, okay? that Those are the ones I'm looking out for, all right? You know? True. So true, we'll see yeah, what they yeah, have to say. I want, I want something nice guy, sophisticated, nice. you know? Something uh -huh. I can read Witty. with my wand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just see what they have to say. I want to say one thing. Like, if this Slark can actually get to satanic and he can start hitting like a doom or something for the entire duration of a team fight there is some chance i think signal can just wipe out reality right yeah and true he needs a lot of stacks too to be able to kill the egg by the way because right now he's not hitting very fast no no he's uh he's not uh -huh. yeah 0.66 it's okay it's it's not great especially without drum charges though it just makes it extremely awkward to be honest yeah Hopefully he's got those coming to him on the curry. No, he does not. No, so not someone in chat drums. asked, Quap no Orchid. Um, well, this Queen of Pain is a position 3 Queen of Pain, and position 3 Queen of Pain generally don't buy Orchid, because as a position 3 player, it's going to be your duty to buy Aura items to boost up your position 2 and 1 heroes. So in Dota, what happens is if everybody goes for damage and you don't buy like these other variety of items that can help your heroes you know, survive longer or... Like, if you're alive, you're going to do more damage naturally. Mm -hmm. So it's just important to keep your team alive. So it's not balance. everybody... Exactly. Not everybody can just go for uh, aggressive items every game. <laughs> I really wish you could Probably. tell that to my teammates in my pubs, my offlaners. Every single game, it's like, yeah. mm, Desolated Mask of Madness. This is an offlane build. Offlane is clearly just uh, carry plus, uh, the carry 2.0 to a lot of people. But another reason we're not going to see an orchid this game as well, by the way, is because uh, they're playing into Legion Commander, who has a pressy attack. So it yeah. becomes pretty poo. Let's say a mid Queen of Pain will probably buy orchid anyway, though, even if you're playing against Legion. Because one, you can use it on the Legion, and two, you need it for the damage output as a position two hero. 
Um, but as an offlaner, like I would, I wouldn't expect it to be the priority. Unless they were no. snowballing so hard in the game, and they are like, okay, I'm the core now. You guys <laughs> buy auras for me, and then you go about it. You just, you just want a lot of a variety of items in your lineup, so you're like prepared for any kind of engagement. Yeah, looks like we do have a uh, quite a long pause ahead of us. Uh, why why don't we switch on that that cam Theban as uh, so we can uh, see see those pearly whites as they were. Um, but yeah, I mean this is uh, this is going to be uh, uh, they said at least five minutes. Sorry if you guys okay, didn't well, catch that in the chat. Uh, yeah, let's 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 hide the map. Safety. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm I'm just I'm just saying what you were thinking, Nomad. All right, I I get it. I got it. Don't worry. <laughs> Um, so big time is coming up in this game is obviously going to be the Scardi, the Satanic for the morph. Looks like he's going to taste for the Scardi first. No big surprise there. Um, Slark, he's, he's kind of close to Satanic, about 1.2 gold away. That's, that's close enough for me. His courier might die here if it stays in the secret shop though, but, uh... Wait, are we, are we live now? I... Okay, good no, thing. Yeah, we're live, we're live. I have my shirt on before I, uh, <laughs> before I turn on my camera when he asks me, you know? Sometimes... It, you guys don't know, but you know, sometimes I'm casting without shirt on because it's so hot in the Philippines. <laughs> so hot in the UK out. right now, dude. We're sweltering. <laughs> we got like 30, 32 degree heat or something, which let me tell you, we, we can't yeah. deal with that over here. You know, we're, we're in brick houses. We got carpeted floors, got no AC. You know, you, you guys often like, you know, say, oh, Brits can't handle the heat. Well, we're not built for the heat. We, we, got, we don't got any um, buildings to, to deal with that. Global you know, we, we basically built little ovens for us to live in because it's cold most of the time. And when the heat comes Hold along, Come what's up? I know you're an anti-vax. I'm you not anti-vax. Do you also not believe in global warming? Or do you think global warming is a real thing? Jesus, what, what, what a topic to, to take us <laughs> into for this pause. Yeah, uh, no, I'm fairly certain global warming is a thing. I mean, I think it might be amplified oh, by a natural um, earth rotations i don't know what it's called like uh, the patterns which we go through and it does seem like uh yeah. things do tend to go in waves but at the same time we're 100 percent contributing to that with carbon dioxide yeah guys eat, eat, eat green um stay away from uh from bad things like plastic <laughs> and you know cut yeah. down your meat intake, that kind of thing help out the planet dudes we can we can do it together um yeah, today... it's, it's what's that line in the background about though is that uh, is that your spirit animal no i People kept saying my background is so boring and they're asking me yeah. like, why am I sitting in the corner of the room? Why is this caster sitting in the corner <laughs> of the room? So, so my wife decided to get me something nice to put on my wall. I really like it. I think it's okay, very okay. awesome. You know, I, I oftentimes just pet him like this, you know? <laughs> to give you strength, yeah. give you energy, Mr. Mr. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then next time someone has something nasty to say, I'll be like, yo, you know what to do, brother. And he just like, Goes Call into him. their dreams and eats them. Yeah, pretty cool though. You like it? It's all right. yeah, it's, it's nice. It's nice. It's uh, you know, it's it's different to what most most people go for, like something Dota related or something RGB. You know, light up some cool lights. But no, I, I like it. You know, just uh, very fierce, very fierce. It doesn't look like he's. It, you could kind of look straight into his eyes if you get the angle right. You know, he's looking yeah. straight at you as you do your thing. You want, you want me to get some lights too? Does Twitch chat want me to yeah. get some lights too? Would that satisfy you, punks? Yeah, an RGB line behind you. That's that's what people want to see. Get yeah. in contact with like Corsair or something. Just light it up like a Christmas tree. What is is what is your spirit animal then? If it's not a lion, what what most envisages your um, attitude to life? I I I wouldn't know. I that's like probably yeah, something no. you should ask like someone else who knows you. You know, because <laughs> they can probably give you a okay, better. Okay. Because I'll be like, yo, I'm a tiger, you know, that's who I am. Yeah, you know? I'm for, for, yeah tiger. that's what it is. It's who you are inside, right? Yeah, but then, but then, you know, my wife might be like, nah, you're like a little kitten or something. I don't know. So <laughs> I, 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 it's hard to gauge. I and mean, then I assume it's somewhere in the middle, right? Right. Okay. Like, yeah. Yeah. Between a kitten and a lion, <laughs> maybe like a bobcat or something. <laughs> Even the bobcat. Yeah. Well, my aunt's like really into like chakras and spirituality and all this kind of thing. And she likes to try and read, you know, she likes to she'll sit down with you and be very intense and try and figure out your spirit animal. Apparently I'm a chameleon. Um, I, I don't fit, I don't really, you know, it's, it's something to do with like personality traits or something. Uh, but yeah, apparently I'm a chameleon. So I don't have the eyes for it though. I can't move my eyes in separate directions, which is a shame. Then I'd really be a chameleon. And I can't blend into things either. 
I'm pretty. I stand out quite quite a lot. But... Alien. That's that's like. Yeah. It's kind of a burn, I think. It's basically saying like I'm I'm constantly changing colors. You know, I'm not a legitimate person. I'm always trying to like blend in with my surroundings rather than be who I want to be. Right. That, You're literally that... just breaking yourself. I know. I know. I just shot myself. But I mean, that's that's how that's how I feel about being a chameleon, man. Listen, you could have said that you you can adapt to anything. You know, you're capable of um, <laughs> changing yourself for the betterment of your environment. You know, you could true, have said all this cool true. stuff. But instead, you just burned yourself by saying that, oh, I'm just... The self you know, all... the self by the way, people in chat have been suggesting things that you could be right. Uh, okay. Um, that you could write for tweeting, say. Oh, dear. Someone wrote... Um, what do we have here? <laughs> tweet, tweet that Puppy is the most overrated player. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh God! Those are fighting words. Brother. That would be uh, that would be brutal. I'm not re I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready for that. Yeah. Casters the hate and would come. casters, no matter one percent, make for fine gentlemen. Hmm, oh. that's not spicy enough for me. That's not spicy at all. Someone That's... asked you, Nomad, bro, got any pull with Valve? Can we get a new hero already? Yeah, dude. <laughs> I, I, uh, sorry, guys. One second. I'll, I'll just keep gaping a ring now. Like, just... Hey, buddy. How's it going? Yeah, no, it's me, Nomad. Yeah. The one you haven't invited yeah. to TI yet. Yeah, that's me. Uh, that's yeah, me. Why are you at it? Why are you at it, bro? <laughs> <laughs> For the first time. About that hero, dude. It's summer, you know? We're all we're all sitting here inside uh, inside lockdown waiting for the hero. Can we get it done, please? You know, we, can, okay. we, got, we got stuff to be going on with. Make Nomad tweet he's going pro and only playing Meeple and Invoker. Curious, Betsy. You know, I like where your mind's yeah, at. It's a good angle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a good angle. Right, right. Oh, Yo Yoha Quino says, number of losses is just a number. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I, I very much get behind that, man, Mike. <laughs> Listen, that... <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, that was... I mean, that tweet would actually kind of slap, though, so... <laughs> That'd be, that's such a dumb tweet. I would want it. I would want you to write <laughs> <laughs> number of losses is just a number. Go right. That's your tweet right now. That's it. One. All right. All right. We got. We got time. We got time. I'll do it. <laughs> number of losses is just a number. Okay. Go. Tweet it. No. Anything else you want to add to this one? Any hashtags or anything? No. Nah. All right. All right. That's it. Done. Wow. Well, okay. Let's ch let's check this out. I want to ask you guys something to... actually. Um, do, do you do you guys want to see us wearing togas for uh for when we get to like um, the main event, which is just around the corner? You know, I, I don't know how many cards we'll have for it, but you know, whatever. It's 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 all the Greek theme, you know. Um, uh, we can we can get on some wrap wrap ourselves in some towels, look all uh get 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 dressed up in the theme of the show. Is that something you guys would enjoy, or, or do you like us sitting here in our uh, casual getup? Something I'd like to know, and of course there's a four minute delay, so uh, so we'll we'll wait a little bit. What's your favorite voice want... line to spam, by the way? Wait, which my favorite voice line? Um... I'll okay, go first to give you time to think. My favorite is Luigi Commander's nice mustache. There is no other voice line in the game which has actually made people tilt more than that one to me. Which is weird, because it, it's a weird one, but you know, I, I, li I like spamming it because it's fun. I also spam when I'm playing anti Mage, I spam Magic is an Abomination pretty much every minute on, on the dot. Um, with a nice mustache, I just constantly spam it. In the lane, after the lane, every time I get a jewel win, anytime oh. anything happens, I just spam my splash out. People go crazy, they start like, like if they kill me, they'll be like, nice mustache with like spelling mistakes. They're so mad, just smashing on their keyboards. I don't, I like, I never expected that. I'm not doing it to like troll people. I just find it a funny voice line, but people get super mad about it. And I don't understand it. There's, there's way worse ones, but people just hate the mustache. It's try it, guys. If you, if you've got silver tier on Legion Commander, try telling people to have a nice mustache. They hate it. They absolutely hate it. I, I didn't expect that. Um, I think. See you later, nerds. Has to be the best. Because you win a team mm -hmm. fight, right? And you know your opponent's trying so hard. They're like, oh, oh, you know, they're getting their nerd sweats going and they're like, oh, we gotta, we gotta win this fight, guys. We're gonna get this guy. And then you live with like 100 HP and then your team kills them, you wipe them, and then you drop the see you later nine and then you know they're triggered. They're like mentally checked out after that. 
and then they started blaming their teammates because you know no one wants to blame themselves for their mistakes because they wouldn't like that so you gotta blame somebody else right you know it's like see later nerd is like the biggest instigator for a voice line you gotta you gotta get that mental warfare going true enough true enough yeah no i like that one i like that one it's it's, it's very on the nose but uh it's it's it's, it's quite good also, I like the Spectre's lines are wrong as well. I think that's because I've got the voice pack on her, on her, on her but um, yeah, she, she says the wrong things, which is which is interesting. But I guess uh, Wei does the same thing. You know, the Anti-Mage Persona, she says the wrong voice lines when uh, when you use the AM voice lines because it's like a different personality, therefore it's uh, a different set of, uh, of voice lines. I imagine they're tied to the number or something. Hmm, what's going on with this? disconnect they're still disconnected uh by the way if you guys don't know what's happening we're not here because we hijacked the stream okay <laughs> somebody disconnected in the game and they need some time to come back and reality rift is not pulling you know like oh guys uh, it's been 15 minutes already give us a free no um we're probably just waiting for like an admin or like something to happen like if the game short comes back i think five minutes ago they said they'll be back but i think it's already been more than five minutes now so I'm not sure what's going on yeah, the, the admin waiting. asked how long, and uh, Signal will give you five additional minutes to sort out the problem, says we play. Okay. I don't know when that was. Uh, I don't know when that was. What do you think the problem is? Well, what, what happened to Grimstroke? Because it's kind of curious that they knew it was going to be longer than five minutes. It has to be internet problems, right? This is a freaking Philippines, oh, man. Be, you... no, we're stuck in a five-minute pause. Right? That's, uh, I think it... he's been kidnapped. Mm -hmm. I think the uh, the signal, uh, the the reality rift mafia came over, and even though they're winning, they were like, "We want to uh, oh go when ready." Uh oh, oh no, this this isn't good. Oh, they're playing forward five. Oh no. Time for the comeback of a legend, the four man comeback from behind. They managed to turn it around, and uh, who's who's gonna micro it? Looks like uh, Abat is microing it. He's gonna have to follow him. Nah, the clockwork will macro it. You gotta get the support to do that. Mm. Too much work if you're the stock already. You gotta focus on so many things. Are you a, uh, would, would you take the role of hero micro? What's your micro skills like? Oh yeah, of course. I've, I've played, I've won so many games uh, back in my day playing four versus five by microing my teammates. Because the opponent always kills, right? Um, yeah. Because they're like four versus five, they're like, oh, we should be smashing them because it's four versus five. But then if somebody's microing the hero and you get all the lever gold too to all your teammates, you're like super farmed. And then all of a sudden, you know, it's so easy to actually come back from four versus five situations. Not so much these days though, because the players have gotten much better now. But in the past, super easy. Yeah, yeah. Remember that? Actually, I had a game where I played, I think it was OD. Oh, in of a... get it going. Oh my goodness, she got slapped. Wow. Uh, she did not exist anymore. 90 damage on the Legion Commander now. Okay. So people have started to go on a very defensive position on the map on the side of Signal. They've actually left the uh, this point here because obviously they're playing 4 versus 5 and they're like, okay, well, let's buy time for our teammate to come back. And uh, meanwhile, Reality Rift, they're going to go back to their middle and bottom pressure. They take the tier to bottom now. They get the outpost. And with the Aegis being up for another 40 more seconds, I think they're just gonna maybe go to a mid tower too. They got a Scotty on this morph already. That's huge. Yeah. Yeah. This is for sure. I mean, this is how they've been playing with those to disconnect or not, but obviously they just uh, they just have an Aegis. They want to get themselves some kills. No, the DC. Oh, the DC farming. Horrible poop. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that, was a, that was a bad place. Happy Grim Stroke blame reality rip because they've waited right they did not say anything time's up for signal ultra you know, oh yeah yeah for sure, for sure. they had no choice uh meanwhile they jump forward onto my five man sonic wave coming through is it gonna be enough doesn't really look like it queen of pain's gonna get cut up in the back lines and uh, Aries trying to throw his body into this one as well he just actually running out now but about wasn't even at the fight he's he's kind of just like let me grab my satanic i'm gonna come in but the ggs are dropped they just want to get this over with and uh, that's gonna be a uh, 2 2-0 from reality rift not in the way we'd have wanted but uh you know internet b is the internet b you cannot control the uh the world unfortunately as much as we try 